Hi guys, Mr. Overon here with Mr. Overon's Tarot Reading Services and today I am here doing a tarot reading for January 14th to January 21st and this is your re weekly reading using the Gypsy Witch Tarot cards. So here we go. So, reading the cards left to right. There we go. Sorry, I had to adjust. Okay, so this very first card here uh, says that there's going to be great interest taken in you this week. And that there is a lot of... Um, speculation and things coming around this um, being noticed and recognized with um, with that being said um, just know that if you are trying to start a new job or may have a romantic interest in somebody um, this card right here represents that interest is being taken in you um, basically all eyes are on you right now this card right here uh, says that um, the shepherd indicates love and an intense strong feeling of life and things of that nature so um, with this card here it's just saying that right now you're able to kind of just let your hair down and take a breath and just know that everything's going to be okay that things are just good you're being you're able to take stock of your life and really kind of just see what's going on out there um the symbology here in the card is a shepherd overlooking his flock with the sun rising up over the mountain so the mountain being like your um your obstacles in the road along the road or whatever not being able to get past those obstacles the sun coming up is shining new light into the world showing you that yeah even though you may have gone through some trials and tribulations um, this last week this week is going to be a lot better for you and this card here is um, saying that money is going to be open to you and that your finances aren't going to be as um, tightly constricted as they have been um, it also represents an opening up from someone or something so if you felt like you've had that block like this card over here set, um, suggests this is the opening itself to you now if you're also owed money this means the money is going to be paid back to you um, this isn't like a tax return or anything like that it's just you know money owed to you is going to be paid back um, the fact that both doors aren't open means that it may not be a full it might not be the full amount that you're looking for, but it's still going to be a rather decent amount of money um, coming your direction. This card here uh, says that there is um, a happy, uh, happy life and that you're just feeling on top of your game. You're creme de la creme right now. But it also says that there's going to be some family sorrow and that um, there might be some fights that happen within the family or something like that but I don't see it being that huge of a negative thing um, the sorrow aspect of it could come from your money uh, your money issues right now um, maybe someone in the family owes you money or you have lent them money or they're going to be asking you for money or there's going to be just that kind of um, breakdown that happens with every family um, so yeah just know that yeah while everything is going good you also have the bitter aspect where it's saying there's gonna be some family sorrow I don't see that it's forecasting a death 
in the quite literal sense. Um, in the metaphorical sense of death, I don't see that it means that there's any changes really happening. Just that um, there's going to be some little upset that uh, keeps things from being completely good. So uh, last week when we did the reading, we talked about balances. And so this is kind of one of those balancing acts where, yeah, you're going to get good news, but you're also going to get bad news type situations. Uh, this card right here is um, the writer, and that signifies good news and um, just great fortune and abundance coming your direction. The writer is riding a horse jumping over a fence, so this ties in with those blockade or those blockages and blockades. Um, in these previous cards here where with the mountain you are seeing light shined into a new aspect things opening up a little bit and you being able to jump over the fence real easily so this is all signifying of good uh, fortune good movement and good energy moving along that direction as well with this card here it says that there is a um, that you're at a crossroads right now are that you will be coming up to a crossroads later on this uh, week and with this crossroads happening that means that you're quite literally stuck at this intersection of your life you don't know which way you want to go and um, it says that um, with being at this crossroads right now you have the, ch the chance for misadventure or also you have the chance to take the path uh, well worn and if you see here in the card there's a sun rising up over here and then this trail kind of goes off um, nowhere so um, you can look at it as this aspect of if you're looking to try to get an answer to a question that you've had or like to make a decision do I go the way that I know is going to be quick and easy or do I forge a new path that will eventually take me that way but um, it will just take me a little bit longer in this aspect right now with the blockages opening up I would really suggest that whatever um, trial or tribulation that you just came through that you continue allowing that road blocking um, are that road opening to take place and that with this decision it might be good just to forge a new path or take the path of least resistance instead of just going straight toward you know the open path um, so yeah just just know that you're at a crossroads and regardless of the decision that you make right now you are going to uh, you're going to eventually reach your end destination. Just one way is a little bit easier than the other. Um, with the road opening and the blockages going away, um, you know, like I was saying, you might want to just travel the path of least resistance. If you can't travel that path right now, just know that you are on the, the correct path for you this week and that you're doing everything that you can with what is available to you. So regardless of it happening now or later, it's still going to happen. There's going to be that decision that needs to be made. So try to make it more sooner than later. With this card here, it says that there's extraordinary honors and recognition of labor. And so this card right here quite literally um, ties into your work environment and so with this card and this card here kind of playing opposites of each other this card here is saying that you are um, being sought after and that all eyes are on you with this card here that might mean that it's a promotion or that you have done something that has caught the attention of your superiors um, good, bad, or indifferent, but with it, what this card is saying is that it's going to be a recognition of your hard work. Now, if you aren't employed, 
this recognition of hard work could quite are be one of those things of okay well you've put this much energy into something and finally you're starting to see um you're starting to reap the seeds that you've sown type situation so all in all this coming week looks really good for you guys there's a lot of movement there's blockages that are opening up light being shined onto new um light new light being shined into the situation and um money coming your direction recognition of your hard work um coming to a crossroads in your life if you remember last week there was that book that said that there was going to be the closing of one chapter and the beginning of another chapter this kind of plays into that card from last week and so all in all it looks really really good this card is the only one that has that has me a little iffy for all of us it, and that was that there was going to be some kind of um, family upset but none of these cards here uh, show that it's any kind of death or anything too negative just a, just some family sorrow um, coming that way so I hope this reading helps give you a little bit of light into this upcoming week and if you would like a personalized reading where we can take more time and uh, go through your cards a little bit quicker or a, a little less quicker I should say um, by all means go ahead and hit me up um, you can send me a message mrovron at uh, um, gmail.com you can go to the website, and that's MrOveron.com. Uh, <clears throat> and, yeah, if you have anything, any questions, comments, concerns, please put them in the comments section down below. If you haven't done so already, please hit that little bell and like and subscribe to the channel so that you are updated whenever I do these readings. Um, if this is something that you would like for me to continue to do, please... Um, give me a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment down below saying yes please um, keep up these weekly readings but either way here's your reading for uh, the week of the uh, 14th to the 21st so anyways I will talk to you all later bye witches